Guys, do you think we should watch um the donkey video on Starfield? I think it might be a good segue because I've been wondering, I've been getting mixed messages from people about what is it called? About the whole you know Starfield situation. Some people are like, oh, it's just a decent game, it's not that bad. The Christmases don't even seem that bad, but Jesus people get defensive. Oh yeah, absolutely. The Bethesda expectations is really wait to see now. Yeah, I don't know what people expected from a hundred uh dollar early access thing. I don't know how people do it. I mean the NPCs look fucking terrible to be fair. Waiting for the feet must before playing. That is totally valid and fair. I genuinely think that I I think I'll probably play Starfield in like a month or two because it's just really bad. It's not like it's not finished. For what I read, Starfield only got three years of work, but it's so much like Skyrim from what I can see. I am not convinced that it's been in development for seven years, man. <laughs> it's so it's not it's half baked. Getting my wife's old PC. I can finally play Cyberpunk, but been considering Starfield. I just, I'm not, I, I don't know. I've been watching Asmund play it a little bit and it just seems so mid, like midfield. The uh, facial animations are below average. The companions feel odd and the way the camera works in conversation just feels odd. Yeah. I think it could be better. Starfield seems like it has strong core of gameplay. Then it doesn't grow or get complex. Feels copy pasted. I mean, that's Bethesda for you, to be honest. I don't know what people expected. <laughs> that's why it's funny to me. People are like, ah, you know. And don't get me wrong. I fucking love. Uh, what is it called? I love Fallout games. I liked Skyrim, I loved Fallout games, but again, it is Bethesda. I'd be interested in knowing the engine that was used in Starfield in comparison to other Bethesda games. I think it's the same engine, man. I'm pretty sure it's the same engine. <laughs> I'm 90% sure. Because Bethesda's engine is, uh... I'd rather watch you play Fallout than Starfield. I don't know if Fallout is even that great to watch, I'm gonna be honest Talk to you later. Every time I review a game, I get comments like, Delete your channel, this game is perfection, I will not- <laughs> This is a good start Except already. any criticism of this game or any different opinions different from my own. So I got a good idea. Since gamers are so intelligent and know everything about video games, I'm gonna let gamers review Starfield, and I'll just be the referee. Introduce- <laughs> Dude, it reminds me of the No Man's Sky comments, man. Our first expert level gamer, a man who needs no introduction, the legendary YouTuber, who Heel vs. Babyface. Taking my headphones off, fuck that. Oh shit, he's taking off the headphones. So oh, fuck. fucking boring! Monk ass, he's very passionate! Now, I'm thinking that this guy does not like Starfield. But why? Fucking pronouns! Oh, okay, ah! I get it. In the character creation screen, it asks you what pronoun you want for your character. It's like uh, three seconds Balls of a game, ass. which is like 700 hours long. Fucking gender ambiguity! Heel, how do you feel about my idea about letting gamers review? Chat, my, to my pronouns are dumb and dumber, by the way, if in any case you want to know. Starfield. Fuck off! But... But the gamers- We can't see past our own fucking reflection! I just don't think Starfield is a good fit for this guy. He should really check out uh, The Last of Us 2. No pronoun selection screen, no character creator at all, actually. Every single solitary fucking thing! Holy fuck, he needs to take a chill pill, damn. Alright, let's play Starfield now. We also have <laughs> an all new animation system. The character's facial expressions and lip sync. Holy crap! In which are done procedurally by a programmer. Bro, 
Zeus can't be serious, man. Huh? My pronouns are I'm but the cum based. Stairfield? That's accurate. Incredibly accurate. And the character models look really great under the correct yeah. lighting. The character models look really great under the correct lighting. <laughs> All right, let, let's dig into this a little. Echo the Fox calls it Stairfield. Stairfield. Oh That's going to hit the score for some big damage. I am lowering the game score to 9 out of 10 after that one. That's going to fucking, that is going to hurt sales. K-Dog loves Starfield, but even he admits the character models are ugly. Why are all these clips from a crouching standpoint? Like, maybe stand up straight? <laughs> oh, I see now. For the graphics to be good in this game, you have to stand up and have the character in the correct lighting. It's a skill issue. I see. Shinobi yeah. 602 is very impressed by the the granular detail and everything is kind of crazy considering how huge and dense the game is. I don't know, man. This looks like kind of kind of mid the detail of the environments given the scope of the game. I can definitely get behind this. When you walk into a room in this game, there will be like 300 little items on the desk, and every one of the items has a detailed 3D model. And it's a good fit for this game because a lot of the gameplay is picking up items. On the other hand, a lot of the gameplay, and I mean a lot- That is just- that- this is, looks like something from fucking Fallout 4, I'm not even kidding. That looks like something out of Fallout 4. A lot of the gameplay is people talking to you, so the face animations are a key aspect of the game that should not be overlooked. Starfield is hands down the best gaming experience I have ever had. Nothing comes close, not even my beloved Sky- How dare you compare Witcher 3 to Starfield? Holy fuck. Why he gotta drag the Germans into it? What's the green flag right here, huh? Is that the Irish flag or something? No, Irish has like orange in it too. What is that? Nigeria? Wait, what? German Nigerian gamer, damn. I only have these left. Is it really here? Next to Ukraine? I didn't know that. Switzerland. Yay! I got a pass! <laughs> I did it! Why you gotta bring the countries into this, I man? Remember Witcher 3, holy Irish? shit, Look, this game is good. I am flags. bumping that score back up to a 10 out of 10 flawless <laughs> master. Xbox can't make me. Bro's head is missing. <laughs> All right, take this. Take the points back. I haven't gotten any bugs. Bro's head is missing. <laughs> bugs this funny yet. My expectation for Starfield was that it would have like a cyberpunk level of glitches. But so far, the glitches I've got is like enemy doing this. So this is the power of the boost pad. <laughs> the pirate freebooter. Look at him, man. He's so strong. Captain Solo. Protocol Indigo. And one of my challenges doesn't work. I just can never complete this challenge because it's bugged. Which sucks because my guy always keeps running out of oxygen. Also, I saw a spaceship do this. No way Blood said The Witcher 3 is worse than Starfield. Yeah, there is no fucking way. No way in hell you just compare Starfield to Witcher 3. They're not even in the same fucking plane of existence. What is that thing? Hey, got that <laughs> You can enjoy something and still willingly admit where the flaws lie. I might have to edit this guy out because he cannot be a gamer. This is boilerplate Bethesda, and for most that's fine, but I think it's a little dated. Basically what he's saying is, Starfield doesn't look like- It looks like something for Fallout 3, man! Fallout 3? It doesn't sound like Fallout 3, but it plays like Fallout 3. Starfield is our first new universe in over 25 years. But it's still a Bethesda RPG through and through. Where you do Fallout 3 is better, man. It's sad. Step into it's a fucking new world, sad. I'm gonna say and you get it. that feeling of feeling like Spider-Man. How are people not enjoying this game? I am a 40-year-old gamer who has been playing since the 80s. Holy shit. I've never <laughs>
super touched a Bethesda game before this one as I am a super <laughs> space nerd and this game got me to purchase a Series X just to play it. Boy, do I feel justified with my- Yo, how, how much is fresh is the word getting paid for this, man? 40 year old virgin? Bro. I can't, just, man. Okay, so here we got a big time star. Who got paid for this, man? That somehow never played a Bethesda game. I don't know where this dude was at during Xbox 360 times. I truly do not understand the negativity towards the game. The hardest part of a game developer's job is its community, and some of these players are either delusional or just entitled. The demands and expectations I'm seeing on just this subreddit alone are just- It's so dystopian. I don't even understand how fucking bad you could cope. Look at the last time that guy was 100% a troll. These people feel like devs owe them something personally. And that's sad because it's the limits their ability to play the game freely. Disturbing. People don't want to play games to have fun anymore. Okay, I'll, they I'll just want to cook. point I'll out all the cook. flaws and mistakes. I can definitely sympathize with this dude. Gamers take a lot for granted, and they're way more vocal about criticizing good games than celebrating them. Fuck you! On the other hand, Fuck you! what fucking Starfield planet do you come from? Microsoft is a $2.4 trillion corporation. The marketing behind this game was so insane that it got you to buy an Xbox Series X to play it. This game should be held to the absolute highest standard, especially by people who bought the Series X day one. That's a big mistake. You're holding it a hot to a higher standard when you know Bethesda was producing it. Like, come on. Mad because you can't manually fly from one planet to another? Seriously? I can't wait to fast travel to where I'm going to see what's going on over there. All right, that's, that's it. Red flag. You're going in the penalty box. Fast travel is not a selling point. That is a convenience. I think a lot of people, myself included, saw the No Man's Sky mining in the trailer and just naturally assumed that the game would also feature spaceships like No Man's Sky, where you can get into the ship, fly around the planet, and then zoom into space and onto another planet at least no man's sky did that even during the launch i remember seeing footage and you could fly your spaceship Seamlessly. this is like, not the case like it was and shitty but it did exist in starfield the space travel is you go into a menu and watch a cutscene. you can fly a spaceship in space but really it's there for combat and not traversal he just keeps <laughs> this fucking sandwich. That's me in chat. <laughs> Ugh, smelling good. Not gonna lie, No Man's Sky looking kind of fun right now. Honestly, yeah. Midfield kind of selling him a lot. Melling the sandwich. How is he doing? Put his pocket for later. Starfield players agree it that its, it's first pocket. dozen hours are its weakest. Okay, 12 hours in, and I love it. Ah, uh, yes, the class. If it takes you 12 hours to get into the goods of the game, it's not a good game. I hate to break it to you, chat. It is not fucking good. No Man's Sky is boring as fuck. What the fuck y'all on about? Justin, come on, man. I've never played No Man's Sky, but at least No Man's Sky looks more interesting than Starfield right now. And it has probably less bugs in it at this point. Dude, there was a streamer who for seven hours to get to- flew seven hours to get to Pluto and she fucking flew through the planet when she got there? Oh my god. Holy shit. Cyberpunk 2077 was fun the entire time I played it? Yeah, probably because, you know, it's a pretty well-developed game, even if it was really buggy at the start. Starfield already has over like 500 mob mods where one third of them are patches and optimization mods so it can run better on less powerful hardware. Arrows, I completely believe that and I'm going to wait for another 500 mobs so I can play this game. That's like 12 hours to get to the fun wait. part type of game. I feel like most good games aren't even 12 hours long. Not every game has to start with a bang, right? But 12 hours? Uh, 12 no one hours. is born good or evil. Every day you take a step in one of those directions. Starfield is way better with the mods. Real talk, Starfield is like a strong 6 out of 10. With mods, 7 out of 10. And there you have it, people. I am dropping the gamer score to a 6 out of 10 without mods. And always remember, you did this, not me. In Starfield, we're pushing our cities and settlements further than we ever have before. It's all there, waiting for you. Dude, that looks so bad. Go back.
and further than we ever have before. It's all there. Look at this shit, dude! Oh my god, man. It's like we took fucking like 10 years back in time and I'm playing Fallout 3. This is actually worse than Fallout 3. The lighting would be worse. Waiting uh, for you. Better. And this part. Oh my god. A slice of humanity's future. So, ready to get out there? No, no, no! I feel like I'm literally <laughs> getting lost in space. I can't get from A to B when leaving a planet without finding myself an hour later so far off my original objective having a blast. This game is top notch, I s- Cool story, bro, 94. That's a real gamer tag right there. Wait, for real. Exploration in this game is actually pretty Black fucking Fleet outrageous. Captain. Yeah, I what? literally keep Crow landing Mado. on planets and spending my entire night playing on that single planet. If you are still down for this old school Bethesda type game and you will get lost in this. There are so many quest lines, so many planets, so many factions, just so much. I have a feeling today's going to be a great day. Don't you agree? Enemy boss that is nine level above me. Has brain dead AI. Easy to cheese. Dude, even fucking Fallout 4 had better boss design. Do you guys have you guys ever played um uh, did you guys play Fallout 4 and you got to the DLC part where it's actually the, I, I guess I'm kind of spoiling it, but you get to the guy that killed your dad and then, uh, like, uh, t whatever, pirate, no, no, fuck, sorry, um, when you find the guy that kidnaps you as a child and, yeah, 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 Kellogg, Kellogg. He actually had mechanics. Like he, it was kind of like a fucking hard fight, but not really. At least there was that. Yeah. Dad, I guess. <laughs> My dad's dead, you mean son? No, whatever, I, I can't remember. It's been a couple of years, but the point is, Bethesda can code decent boss fights. It's just, it takes a lot of effort. Badly for you. And y'all call this the best game of the century. Starfield is a joke. God damn, this man just destroyed the entire Xbox oh, kingdom. Shit. And for that, I'm gonna have to lower the score down to a paltry. Five out of ten. Oh. Breaking. Digital Foundry caught <laughs> lying about Starfield. Uh-oh, Digital Foundry, somebody is going to jail. The water also surprises me. There's no swimming in Starfield. Bro, the water is so bad. It Holy will break fuck. your fall if you jump from a great height, as I just did, but diving is forbidden. You just glide along the... <gasps> there is swimming! 11 out of 10 Xboxes back in business. There is no world where Starfield's an 11 out of 10. And Phil, no! Isn't this an industry standard for the past 20 years? Dude, Cyberpunk had better... had better water physics, and... it came out what, like... Five years ago, four years ago, three years ago. Now I have to put it back to a five out of 10. There isn't so really sad, a man. great solution or win for us. I see commentary that if you just build great games, everything would turn around. It's just not true. We lost. I gotta believe. X to the E to the R to the O. And pick up your hero. Oh, here we go. Yeah, just play with the mod chat. That's right. That's right, chat. We lost. <laughs> GDA 4 had better water physics? Yep. That's what I said yesterday. At this point, Bethesda gives the creation tool to let modders do the work for them just for the amount of hours I'm going to put into this game. If only the mods, it's completely worth it. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I think that it's really depressing that the base game has to be this poorly made that modders can turn it around to make it playable. I think that's unacceptable. I don't think I would fucking play this game if it weren't for mods or even consider it. Something happened? Yeah, Vosh, we're just laughing at Starfield, that's all. Skyward was that way? <sighs> I mean, not really. I played Skyrim without mods and it was good. Like, yeah, it was a little bit buggy, but fuck me. 
Skyrim came out good at for the time. It came out in what, 2009 or some shit? Skyrim on the PS3 was a mess? Hold on. When did it come out? 2011? When did Skyrim come out? Damn, I didn't know that. I thought it was a port. Damn, console gamers kind of get fucked. <laughs> I'm aware? Yeah, fuck. Never played any Fallout Skyrim game? Tomix, it was a good time, okay? We can complain about it all we want, but it's... It is what it is. I remember renting Skyrim from Redbox when it came out. I barely played it, but I've always wanted to. Um, Skyrim has aged fairly poorly. The only thing that's really carrying it is uh, mods. If you mod like HD mods into uh, into Skyrim and stuff, it's really cool. But as a base game, it has it has aged and it is noticeable for sure. <laughs> Remember when games were actually made with passion? I don't think they're dispassionate. I just think that... <sighs> I just think it's unacceptable for a game to look like this when this is the game... Like, the engine looks like it's still stuck in, like, 2012. They're incompetent. I can't even say that because incompetence would mean that it, the game would look better, but I don't know. Playing Skyrim right now with 2,000 mods? Yeah, and you're probably frying your fucking computer right now. Money? Yeah, Cyberpunk looks better because it was on a better engine. Higher ops are just too scared to divert from the formula? Yeah. Yeah, I agree because we haven't had a lot of innovation in the last, like, 10 years, I think. You would think Bethesda learned after the disaster they had with Fallout 76? But I mean, look at the comments of the people in Reddit, man! Saying it's like an amazing game. People will eat this shit up, man! Exploration in this game is actually pretty fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. Do people expect Bethesda games to be different, though? No, I don't. Like, I, again, I have said this many, many times. I love Bethesda games. I love Fallout. I love Skyrim, but shit. I don't know. I just expected it to be a little bit better than this. Even a tad. Like, this is, this looks fine, but then you get to the Stairfield. Where is it? Where is the Stairfield? <laughs> what a still frame. Ah! so bad it's not bad just mid yeah midfield <laughs> that's cursed you think this is cursed this is terrifying <laughs> a lot of makes it look good. Honestly, it's not bad for a 2015 game. God, man. 2015. I don't know. It's just kind of sad. There's your reaction thumbnail. Oh, yeah. That's a good point, actually. I'll ask Poulter if we can get that. This is why I love texture bugs. This is just poor lighting, you guys. We're coping. Not as bad as Redfall. True. Redfall was heinous. Move your model a bit higher. No one would notice the stare. <laughs> it just looks like it's from 2012. Like this right here? Holy crap. It's not even the most important things, but rather the writing, a reason why New Vegas is seen as it is. Um, I don't know anything about the Starfield story. 
Is the Starfield story good, quote unquote? Because holy shit. Hello, McRibs. How are you doing? It's a good game. It's just like the not the freedom people were expecting on the planet to planet shit, as far as I heard. I've but I've heard the bugs are really bad. No one's paying attention to it, so I don't know. <laughs> not really. Co said is high school level writing. I mean, that's to be honest, I mean Fallout writing isn't that great either. But again, I don't think it's acceptable. For what I've seen, it's the same as Fallout game, but space. <laughs> Fallout 1 has pretty good writing. Yeah, but we're talking about Fallout 3 and beyond. Fallout 1 and 2 don't count. And I don't mean that in a disparaging way. I mean that in a, like, they're different games compared to Fallout 3 and onward. Xbox players loving it and PlayStation players hating it. Is it because of bugs or what? I heard the only reason people experience as many bugs as they do is because the game practically requires to be installed on an SSD if people have it on hard drive. It's just borderline unplayable. Why is why is that? Starfield reviews is 75% console wars? What the fuck? Why do people still do that? Why are console Andy's so avid, man? They're so livid and get angry. No, you play Xbox! No, I play PlayStation! That face, sorry. I'll move it back to this. <laughs> oh yeah, Lena, are you really wanna watch the Cyberpunk Starfield comparison? Oh shit, yeah, 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 I need to do that, hold on. Yeah, good reminder, good reminder. Chat, we'll watch this one, it's really quick, it's two minutes long, it's really fast. Okay, okay, okay. Starfield versus Cyberpunk comparison. Yeah. I'm ready, chat. Yeah. Uh, okay. What class should I roll? Mage. Is this cyberpunk? Oh, yeah. Yo, actually kind of good. Look at that. You're in the water. <laughs> this is what I was talking about, man. He's like, um, it's a nice gun you have. Holy shit, what was that side eye? Slow that down, Jamie. <laughs> you guys can't see it, dude. Oh my god, look at her face. <laughs> look at her side eye, man. It's so bad, man. I want to go home. At least the cyberpunk people get scared when you point a gun at them. Oh my god, that's terrible. And this is Starfield? Man, what the fuck? Ew. Okay, that's not much better, but it's a little bit better. Like, it's not amazing but it's better the fuck why is there like stone what <laughs> oh my god why is she staring why is this one not reacting why are they not reacting bro <laughs> oh, my god. oh yeah they're running away I mean, I'll admit, they're not much better than each other, but shit. MCP ah! Okay, a little water physics, I like that. Yeah, this water physics is ass. This water 
physics is ass, man. Watering games usually is not looking good if it's not part of the game like quests. I, but it's it ruins your immersion. Like there's a plenty of water in this area. Like why? Why can't you just make it like properly? Even cyberpunk where it's like not part of the game, it still looks better. I'm worried for e ES6. Oh, Elder Scrolls. <laughs> yeah. Like look at that. It looks like pebbles. It's like tiny. It's not how a water like, this isn't much better, but at least it's a little bit more believable. I don't know. <laughs> and then the police. Patient or size. Yeah, they look tiny. I don't know why. It just ruins my immersion. Again, it feels like I'm shooting a pea shooter, not a gun. So this makes sense. They're going to rehaul that in 2077 too? Eventually, surely. Oh, this isn't Crope Cat. This is some random person. By the way. Yeah. I guess it's kind of Crope Cat inspired. Even better, you can get the base game coming DLC for much cheaper than Starfield. Yeah, yeah. The new DLC is gonna be pretty cool. Bang, 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 bang,